Hi guys, welcome back to the another session on Code Tutor. In this session, I will be talking about how to pass the values using the intents. You are already aware there are two types of intents implicit intents and explicit intents. As you are aware, intents are all about passing the values between the decoupled components of the Android like activity, service, and broadcast receiver. Activity is UI, broadcast receiver is a listener and service is mainly used to do any task away from the UI. Intent is a message passing mechanism and also a message holder. We can put any data inside the intent as a key value pair. The intent has got this method called as put extra. The first argument being the key which is a string. The second value could be anything. It could be a boolean, it could be a string, array. There are many overloaded methods of put extra. Once you put any value in the intent, when the intent gets triggered, when you start an activity using the intent, at the other side of the activity, you can fetch the values that you had put earlier in the intent using the get method. You have to just pass the key typecast in case of necessity. Let us now Let see a simple demo trying to understand how this is used. I already have an activity. This is main activity and I am triggering the second activity using the intent. Now what I want to do is I want to pass some kind of data in the intent. To do that, let me create value pair in the second intent. Second intent dot put extra. First value is always key say sample key it should be a string value and then the second parameter is the actual value that you want to send so let me put a string value here this message is being sent from first activity this is the value that i am putting in the intent and i am starting the activity I am starting second activity and in the second activity I have to fetch the value that I have sent from the intent. For that what I can do is string message then get intent dot get string extra and you have to pass the key which you have used to pass the message and that's it and what you can do is text view message dot set text and then whatever the message that you have received as a part of intent this should make it work so let us run this next activity you can see that the message that i have sent from the first activity is fetched and being rendered in the first text view I have another text view. What I want to showcase here is instead of sending a simple string, we want to send a custom object. How do I do that? It is pretty simple. I have created a sample class here, person. And to be able to send any object as a part of intent, you have to make sure that that particular class implements serializable. Now, what I will do is I will create an instance of a person class here and person dot set first name person dot set last name person dot set qualification let me call it as b and what we can do is second intent and then use put extra the first being the key argument and second argument should be the serializable object in this case it is person instance that you have just created in the second activity to get the person you have to do get intent dot get serializable extra and you have to pass the person key and the return type is an object here so we need to typecast and let us 
set the value here first name person dot get last name and finally the qualification of the person this should do it let me run this you can see that whatever the serializable object that i had sent from the first activity we are able to successfully fetch it and display it in the second activity there is another way of achieving this using parsable interface and android actually recommends using parsable instead of serializable in the next video i am going to show you how to use the parsable interface to achieve the same effect so keep watching the tutorials let me know what else you would like to see in this channel and subscribe to get the always latest update as soon as i publish new videos thanks bye take care